Liao Fan's Four Lessons, Audiobook. The information provided in this handout may be helpful to the listener in acquiring a clearer understanding of the key teachings in Liaofan's Four Lessons. The Three Ways to Reform 1. One must feel shame. 2. One must know fear. 3. One must have determination and courage. One can change through action, change through reasoning, or change from the heart. The different kinds of goodness. 1. Real. 2. False. 3. Honest. 4. Crooked. 5. Hidden. 6. Visible. 7. Seeming. 8. Unseeming. 9. Improper. 10. Proper. 11. Half. 12. Full, 13. Big, 14. Small, 15. Difficult, 16. Easy. Liao Fan's Four Lessons, Audiobook. Original work by Mr. Liao Fan Yuan of the Ming Dynasty interpreted by Mr. Ji Hai Huang. Re-edited by Liao Fan's work team sponsored and recorded by the foundation of Liao Fan's Four Lessons. Liao Fan's Four Lessons, Audiobook. Original work by Mr. Liao Fan Yuan of the Ming Dynasty interpreted by Mr. Ji Hai Huang. Liao Fan's Four Lessons was originally written during China's Ming Dynasty by Mr. Liao Fan Yuan. The book was intended to teach his son, Tian Kai Yuan, how to recognize the true face of destiny, how to tell good from evil, and the method for correcting one's faults and practicing kind deeds. It also provided living proof of the rewards and outcomes of people who practiced kind deeds and cultivated virtue and humility. Relating from his own experience of Changing Destiny, Mr. Yuan himself was a living embodiment of his teachings. After hearing this wonderful book, one may feel more open and confident towards life and at the same time, courageously compelled to follow the example of Liao Fan in changing one's original destiny. Liao Fan's Four Lessons is truly a rare book which is not only precious to an individual's spiritual needs, but is also capable of transforming unhealthy attitudes in today's society. While listening to the lessons, one may wonder why the Chinese placed so much emphasis on examinations. In the olden days of Chinese civilization, studying was held in highest regard, whilst all other occupations were considered low class. The Chinese government selected its officials through a system of meritocracy, many levels of imperial examinations were given to all who wished to take them. It was very difficult to pass these tests, and one had to be very learned and talented in writing essays. Those who did pass had the chance to advance to high government positions and live a life of wealth and prominence. People who couldn't pass the examinations were not recognized, no matter how smart or able they were otherwise. That was the reason many youths of that time turned to studying for the exams in the hope of a prosperous future. Since the original work of Liao Fan was written in classical Chinese, it tended to be poetic and terse, making the book hard to read and understand for modern-day people. In early 1900, Mr. Ji Hai Huang added a detailed commentary to the book using modern Chinese. This edition of Liao Fan's Four Lessons became very popular and benefited many people of his time. However, as time went on, even Mr. Huang's edition became too tedious for today's readers, so the influence of this beneficial book was greatly reduced. In view of this sad situation, the foundation of Liao Fan's Four Lessons is devoted to the reorganization, editing, and reprinting of the book, allowing better access and understanding to these wonderful teachings. Today, with the sponsorship of kind people, 
This edition of the brief explanation of LIAOFAN's four lessons has been reproduced as LIAOFAN's four lessons audiobook. After listening to it, we hope that everyone will learn the spirit of Liaofan in changing one's destiny and create a brighter future for oneself, the society, the nation, and all people of the world.